heard some pretty good guitarists today. I'm not one. So, um, as some of you on the forum might know, my name's Evan, by the way, apart from being Graf Nuts on the forum. And if I've done something to you on the forum, I sincerely apologize. Um, some of you might know that Chad Kroger and I have recently broken up. I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay? But in the settlement, I did get the original Mark I MI Revelation Chad Kroger signature model. And as we all know, the key to Chad is his versatility. He is one of the most versatile recording artists of our time, according to his record company. So, while I can't play very well, I will try and demonstrate the versatility of the MI amp. Um, you don't need another amp when you've got one of these, frankly. And also some of the MI effects. I've got a bit of an MI thing going on. I like these short Noni guys, you know. <laughs> um, also, I've got, um, I've got here Charles Sillier's um, number one um, prototype single cut guitar. All the mojo went out after the number one, those other ones are no good. <laughs> this one was a winner, and it's the same with the Mark One Rev, Mark Two, you know, not so much mojo. Anyway, start off clean. <laughs> MIDI control, so I'm running a, a G major effects unit just because it's the best reverb and delay you can get for bugger all money and it's MIDI control and it comes with a little MIDI controller which sometimes gets out of sync with the amp, so bear with me. <coughs> the MIDI controller isn't the cheap one. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on to the mid gain, mid gain on, on um, channel, channel number one on the MI rev, the green channel. It's a Kermit cab, it's running scumbacks at the moment, they're the low wattage scumbacks, one's a um, M75 and one's an H75. They took a shitload of time to break in, even though they're meant to be pre-broken in. Um, but a damn fine speaker, um, I've had a few speakers in this, but these really suit it. But again, the Kermit cab is just a fantastic sounding cabinet, over to Mark's woodwork. Everything I would have built out of wood looks like it was made by Fred Flintstone, so I've got a little <laughs> admiration for these guys. Uh, the other thing I've, I've got here today is um, the, a couple of MI audio pedals. I just wanted to highlight the compressor, which I think is an absolutely fantastic pedal. Uh, it's very subtle, it's very studio quality, it's not a squishy compressor like a Dynaco, but I think it really adds something. which is a little bit crunchier, a little bit tighter, like a sort of l lower Marshall gain, a more ACDC rather than in your face metal gain, but it's a really nice channel, very tight. <laughs> good lead tone with a little bit of compression and a little bit more gain put in. Yeah. 
<laughs> Moving on to the Blue Channel, sorry, MIDI control lost seat there for a moment. Um, the Blue Channel is, is a really nice, still tight, it's not an American sort of metal channel, um, but it gets much more into the higher gain. And I think this is one of the great things about the Rev, this Blue Channel. I haven't heard a sound quite like this in any other amp. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's, it's, it's mid-focused, it's tight. Now most of these channels are running on their mid-gain setting. There's more gain available. There's a gain trimmer on the back if you're a truly a head case and you need more gain than it actually offers. So you can wind that up and wank away to your heart's delight. <laughs> Now we get to the, the really wanky channel, um, which is, I don't use much, I've got to say. I'm, I'm fairly satisfied, generally, in my life. Um, but this is the red channel, which is your very American sort of um, high gain channel. So a lot of top, a lot of bottom, not much mids. Uh, it's cool. Uh, it's not quite a megalith, which does this sort of thing and more um, a lot better, but it's still a very cool high gain channel. Who's been fucking Looking at you, Ibrahim, you've been fucking with my volume. <laughs> Sorry, set it up for some sort of Holdsworth thing, and that's not quite right. Just give me a sec. <laughs> Yeah, it, should, it should be all good now. Anyway guys, there's a lot more to the rev than I can demonstrate in, you know, half an hour. Um, so yeah, feel free to come over and play. Um, and I'm running out of batteries, which is a good thing. Thank you all. <laughs>